What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by today's video, we're back with another unboxing. So I have a super cool Tokimori upgraded high kappa in here and a polar star down here. But before we get into that part of the video, remember last week when I said, hey guys, um, I am going to do some sort of super cool gun you'll see next week. I got scammed by the kid. Thankfully, I used PayPal Goods and Services, which is awesome. So instead of getting a super upgraded M4, I remember if you watch back, we'll flash back, let's flash back real quick. So this is the first out of two guns that he sent. This is an upgraded, um, I believe this is a Saima M4. So externally, this gun does not look like it's packing hardly anything. I was like, hey, that looks a little crappier coming out of the package than I expected. But he said it's a sleeper build. Anyway, this Troy Adeo kid or whatever, I don't 100% know if it's even a real account, to be honest. But he was like, yeah, I'll send you two guns. Like The first one will be there on Friday, second will be there on Monday. And the first thing was, why did he ship in two different packages? And the second one was, why does this gun look like it doesn't have any upgrades internally? I'm no tech, but I can tell that this is not a sleeper. This is a young, cheap pile of trash. And so I will be getting my money back. I paid him like $450 for this and another gun that had like a Spectre Mark II. But the kid literally blocked me on Instagram and hasn't responded to anything. So, and I don't think he even has a hop up. But his username changed on Instagram a lot. So I was like, I should have a little bit of an idea. Anyway, use goods and services. If you don't trust the person or don't know, they will always be able to help you out, which is nice. I did get screwed by PayPal two times ago when I had that sale video with that snipe rifle. But for the most part, they do help. And it's nice because uh, you guys can trust me and send me stuff, friends and family, and send people that have really high vouchers. But it is really nice to have that security, which I got this time. So your boy kind of got scammed, but didn't actually get scammed. So we'll see. I'll send this back to him. I think PayPal pays for that as well and get my money back. We'll even see if the kid wants this gun back. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Maybe I'll have Sure Shot Midget upgrade the crap out of this, actually make it a sleeper gun, and then do a giveaway. Hmm. Comment below if you want to see that. All right, box number one. So this is actually a dude that I have purchased stuff before. I actually bought the Wolverine sniper rifle from him, but he was working on two of my high kappas. So this man has been working on two of my high kappa pistols, and this is the second one that is in the upgrade. He also sent me some mags, some just basic parts. Um, up first, it looks like we have a Wolverine Storm on tank regulator. So this is his last regulator that he saved. These are actually pretty nice. I'd never used these before, but I think they retail for like 150 bucks with the line, um, and they work with all. You'd think that a kind of a regulator that's this small would only work with SLP setups. However, it does work with everything from what I've seen on e-bike. I think there might be different versions, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, he was using this with a non SLP setup he's got the basic grip which you can tell may or may not have been replaced on the other pistol you're about to see and then up next we have an extendo clip this is the extended mag W extended mags HBA tap and then we also have a silver shorter mag with a tap that I sent him to fix one of the pistols like I said I originally bought this off of him on eBay and then I somehow managed to buy his entire collection because he was getting out of the sport and so this is the last piece of that collection it also happens to be the twin for this one right here and if you've not seen this pistol on my channel you are sorely missing out but here we have oh bro this is so nice you guys might have seen this upper before I up I unboxed this upper in another video and then it wasn't working and he's like dude I have an extra infinity lower if you pay me some money for it I'll just send it to you and if you guys know anything about these infinity lowers they are insanely expensive I think they retail for like 270 and he's like hey dude yeah I'll give it to you for like half price and I was like I'm not gonna be able to say no um, I actually really like the look of the silver and the gold, to be honest. I think that looks so cool. Um, I think it definitely meshes well with this. This is probably, I've had a lot of really cool high cappers, and this is either my favorite or my second favorite high capper that I've ever owned. And if I ever get to go out to California, man, I cannot wait to throw this tracer on and start running this, pull a demo or something like that. Man, I would just love to play indoor. There's literally nothing around here in Indiana that's good. Ohio, I think, has one decent indoor field, but it's pretty far away. Like I said, I played a lot more in Indiana now, but look at this pistol, man. It's got a flat trigger. I love this compensator on there. I have no idea what it is. It's just a stock 4.3 custom. This is a dual stainless custom up here. Uh, it does have an upgraded bucking and hop up and uh, like blowback unit and stuff like that. But the lower is what really matters for this. I don't know actually what brand this trigger is. I think he installed this one and the other one that I sold. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's kind of cool. And then the mag release that comes with the AW Custom High Capas are really, really dope. And I actually really like the mag release on this, or the uh, mag wall on this. It has a little bit different patterning. 
and it says STI on it, which I just think is beautiful. I love the STI Airsoft Masterpiece combos. But yeah, super cool pistol in the first box. And then he also sent me the rest of his high cap attacking unboxing collection and stuff. Uh, this is basically the last of what he used. He was a pretty experienced high, high cap attack, and he's got a lot of stuff. Um, you can see an extra sear, extra, some extra springs. There's a, the blowback or the uh, nozzle I sent him. I sent him an extra nozzle if he needed it. And um, there's a blowback unit in there, a Crytac. 20k boost motor huh those are pretty nice it's got some loctite in here which is sweet o-rings just a lot of stuff basically a lot of stuff that you need as a high cap attack this is just his leftovers like i said he was getting completely out of it and he wanted to be done so i was like yeah dude let me slide in all right up next man this dude spent 68 dollars to ship this some of you guys send these packages from far away and they are just like you spend so much on shipping um, there's a lot easier ways to do it. Go online. PayPal is a really good shipping service and it's cheaper. But yeah, maybe I'll do tips with Alec Mac for shipping at some point. I have been getting some comments with how big some of the knives I use are. Um, I just grab the knives that are right there in the kitchen, to be honest. So it's not like, ah, I'm trying to get a big knife. Because I know some of these unboxers get crazy with some of the weapons they unbox stuff with. Uh, this is just what was accessible. Alrighty, so here we have, I did not actually know he was including this backpack. So it looks like he packaged everything really well. He may have spent $68 to ship it, but he packaged everything well. So here is a backpack of some sort. I believe this is just a condor. Feels like condor. Kind of looks like a three-day-ish assault pack. But that's nice. I like the American flag patch in there well. And I honestly, backpacks make perfect things for just throwing guns in there. And look what we have. Here is a Polar Star Jack build. Um, up front, it has one of the K-Tech amplifiers. I've actually never owned one of these before. I think this is the threads are stripped, so it is a little wobbly on that. Um, looks like he kind of just glued it in, which is fine. Um, it's got like a little stubby rail on here as well. I'm actually not sure what body this is, as this is just kind of a generic body. does have a black speed trigger, which is beautiful. Inside the engine is a jack, and he does have an amped braided line in here as well. I actually really like the amped pink. I think it's super cool. It's like their hot pink or whatever. Uh, the stubby stocks that people go absolutely crazy for. I cannot tell you how many people have been like, yo, dude, do you have any extra stubby stocks? Do you have extra stubby stock? Ever since I did the really cool stubby build like four years ago, and so I've sold a lot of them since then. Um, I think GMP ones are the best in my opinion. This feels just like a just a basic obviously this external this This would be what a sleeper build is. This is genuinely something that looks like it's just basic It's bland. You don't have any trades on it. It's generic I'm sure it's got like a good hop-up system and everything in there and obviously when you got a polar star engine It's gonna change and rock the world But this is a sleeper build throw a red dot on there go in your local CQB field have sure shot midget tune the gun It's gonna be smack it. I seriously had no clue that he was sending this bag. So that was pretty sweet actually I'm guessing he probably was kind of the same mindset. He's just like, I love Airsoft, but wanted to get out of it. If you're selling your gun, usually that's what's going on. And here is his regulator and line setup. I believe that's it. There's no mags in here or anything. But here is the regulator. I'm actually not sure what regulator that is. It's a Polar Star regulator? I've never seen this specific. It's just another one of those on-tank regulators. And then a beautiful carbon fiber tank. These carbon fiber tanks are very expensive but they're really worth the investment if you guys do use hpa um it's got the hydro on here for another two three years which is nice this is the empire one these are just so much lighter than metal tanks i can't remember all the days that i had that i had metal tanks carrying me in high school and i was like getting off the field and i was like Ugh, and then i couldn't move but when i switched to i switched to like a 68 4500 at like junior year of high school or something senior year of high school i was like wow I feel it was that and then I switched to pig pads and I cry plate carrier and the world just changed for me like instead of going and feeling like I'd gotten punched all day in the in the shoulders I was like wow I actually feel really nice but looks like a sweet setup I'm excited to kind of test this out I love speed triggers like you guys know um, this is a cool sleeper build this is something that's actually dope thanks for watching this video guys I think next week I'm going to do a collection video it has been a while since I've done a collection so I think I'm going to try and move everything in my deck and just do a giant collection video because I think it's been like a year before I've done it. So you guys, uh, I've been at getting updates here. They're like, hey man, you should show your collection again. I know you guys like those videos. And the unboxings have slowed down just a tad as far as collections. I kind of go in waves where I buy people's collections and then I try and sell stuff and then I buy people's collections because I don't have the space that I do to buy all the collections and also the funds. But it's been Alec Mac 101. Thanks for watching this video all the way in. I will see you guys later.